What is happening, buddy? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming three-game NBA slate for tomorrow. It's Thursday. We also have Thursday Night Football. Um, I'm focusing on NBA, though. I like playing NBA a little bit more than NFL, but we have a nice three-gamer. Um, I like small slates. I like two-gamers. I like showdowns. I like three-gamers. Um, I just like playing them more. We don't have to worry about news on the 11-game 11 11 or 13-game slate. So before we begin, though, hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe. Always helps me out a ton, and let's dig right in with the Clippers at Miami. So on the Clippers, we already have news. No John Wall, no Marcus Morris, no Norm Powell, no Luke Kennard. So it's going to be Paul George and Kawhi, pretty much. I do I do like Kawhi's price tag at 7-1. The minutes are starting to trend up. Um, 22, 23, 28, I kind of like it. I kind of like it at, at 7-1. Um, Reggie Jackson's okay option with no Joe Wall at 5 7. I think they also that will increase minutes for Terrence Mann off the bench. Batum, I don't mind getting to at 3 8. He's going to be a value. Um, Zubox, okay at 6 5. I don't really like it though, but I, I do like Kawhi a little bit. On the Miami side, Jimmy Butler, questionable. We need to watch the news on him. I believe Tyler Hero is probable. Max Struss, he did play last game. Saw 30 minutes. Um, and I believe what Oladipo is probable also. I think all these other guys are probable. The main one, the main one is Jimmy Butler, who's the Q tag. Um, Bam and Bio, I don't really like. I like getting to Tyler Hero. If there's no Jimmy Butler, um, I love Tyler Hero here. I don't mind getting to some stress at the shooting forward option at 5 4. Um, this is a good matchup. I don't mind it. Um, it's just not a ton that I'm really interested in, super interested in, but there's a pieces I do like. This is the game I do like, Houston and San Antonio. If there's no KPJ, I'm going to get to a lot of Jalen Green. I think Sigan's price tag is just too cheap. Um, Tari Eason's 4-3 also. He's seeing a little bit of increased minutes also. I don't mind him as a flyer. I think this is a high-paced up matchup on the Spurs. Vassell's uh, doubtful to play. Give me all of Kelvin Johnson. I love him here at 7-6. I love Trey Jones at 6-4. There's a lot of this team that I do like getting to. Zach Collins could, is, could start at 5-1. I don't mind that either. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting to a lot of this team. Um, this is an interesting team to look out for in this matchup. Um, Denver and Portland on the Denver side, Jokic is okay at 11-3. He's going to be a main spin-up, obviously. <laughs> it's either him or Damian Lillard. Um, Jamal Murray, 7 2 is okay. I'm not chasing the Bones Highland game. I know he had a highlight game last one, last game at 30 minutes. I just don't trust that. Um, sorry, I just don't want to pay 5 6 for him. Uh, Bruce Brown and Aaron Gordon are both filling options on the Portland side. Damon Lillard up top at 9 7. Obviously, one of the like, okay spin up. I think I'm going to go more balanced though on this is like. Anthony Simons with Damon Lillard back. No, thank you. Martin Lincoln, Jeremiah Grant. Josh Hart, I believe, is. Probable, yeah. So he should be playing. So it's gonna take away Lenzo for me. Nurks, I'm not really getting to it. It's Jokic, but I think the main two games I want to focus on is the Clippers and Miami and Houston Center. I know I said at first I didn't really have a super interest, high high interest rate in that first game, but I think I do. I think I do now, um, because there's not a lot of spin ups. It's a three gamer. I think I'm gonna get to a lot of this Houston San Antonio game. Um, we have value pieces, so. That represents the site for us. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great site for us tonight. Have a good one, everybody.